six Rocky films. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. And there's actually a seventh on the way called Creed. The question is, how many of these films have the eye of the tiger and how many have the eye of the poly? Who of course is the drunken loser in the films. We're gonna find out another worst and best, starting of course with the worst. Let's begin. I can't imagine a lot of Rocky lists that wouldn't have this as the worst. It's really a pile of shit. It was a terrible almost end for the fictional boxing hero. Having him lose his amassed fortune, being a crappy father to his son, and training the unlikable Tommy the Gun were just a few of the problems. There is some redemption in the final bout outside in the streets. You can't fight a street fight in a street fight! And then his classic line at the end, touch me and I'll sue, and then Balboa, boom! Sue me for what? This was Stallone's apology for Rocky V, and it does more right than it does wrong. It's not a, like a great film, I would say, but it is closer aligned with the originals, Rocky I and II, instead of the later circus acts. It's stripped down, it's slowly paced, and there is a good amount of heart and closure. Unfortunately, it's just not that entertaining. The antagonist this time is another real-life boxer playing Mason Dixon. He's much better than Tommy Gunn, but he's extremely weak for a Rocky villain. The guy's just too scrawny, that's the bottom line. Stallone looks like he could snap him in half with his pinky. There's also too much restaurant reminiscing, not enough training montages, not enough boxing in a boxing film. The thing I love about the Rocky films is they take place right after one another, at least the earlier ones did. We start out in Rocky II where he's on the ropes trying to get up, but eventually Apollo gets the final votes and wins. So this is the redemption picture. Rocky's training harder than ever before, and it is a great film. It's a terrific follow-up to the critically acclaimed first outing, and it really showed just how good sequels can get. Let's get one thing straight, arguably the only straight thing on this show, and that is this is my personal list, okay? It's not based on what has the best tomato meter or IMDB score. I know Rocky One is critically acclaimed, I know it won a ton of awards, I know Stallone poured his blood, heart, sweat, tears, penis, everything into the, maybe not penis, but everything into this. This is the beginning of everything. It made me a believer in boxing until I saw it on TV and realized it's just two grown men hugging for the majority of the fight. But it is a fantastic film and it scores an easy A starring Emma Stone. All these movies coming up, uh, they're A's in my book. My, 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 how things have changed since Rocky 1 and 2. Gone is the gritty, darker tone, and in its place is a more polished corporate look. But I love it still. Nike sponsorships and all. There are some really touching scenes tucked inside this Hulk Hogan fighting, Mr. T boxing, Polly drinking extravaganza. A key one being the death of his mentor, his wise trainer, Mickey. Even thinking about the scene today, I start to choke up a bit. <laughs> Why do you have to kill him? And then he dies again in Grumpy Old Man on the bench. What the fuck? <laughs> Far and away the most talked about Rocky film for a reason. It's extremely memorable, quotable, and it's not all that original at all. In fact, it's pretty beat by beat from the other films. We get another opponent challenging our fighter, we get another training montage, we get another tragic death, and we get the standard, Yo Adrian! Shouted from the top of the mountains. Literally. But it doesn't matter if it's the same, it's done so well. It's also the most inspiring of the stories when we have Rocky not just fighting for his fallen friend, but also for the nation. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I could change, and you could change, it's not a good impression, but it's all I have. This might have been my tough worst and best episode yet. Uh, this was really hard for me to cobble a list together because I hold all of them very dearly, except for Rocky V. I suggest you gather up your own list and share in the comments, but remember, it will be challenging. There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. 
Also like the video, subscribe, and throw me some money on Patreon so I can eat tomorrow. If not, I must break you. That was really bad, Dolph Lundgren. I don't give a shit.